Okay, Paul, thanks. Tonight, Danny Fenster is safely back on U.S. soil and sharing what the past 48 hours have been like. He thought he was just starting an 11 year prison sentence in Myanmar when suddenly everything changed. Rod Maloney here now with more on what Danny had to say. And this has been a real whirlwind these last couple of days, Rod. No doubt about it. And you know that you saw just a couple of minutes ago the beautiful family reunion that happened here. The unexpected family reunion happened in New York. There's likely to be another big family reunion here. Neighbors and friends putting up this display here this morning for Danny and the family. And as things stand, it has been quite the ride over the past few days. They spent six months awaiting this moment, starting with mom hugs all around. They couldn't know it would come at Kennedy Airport. The surprise release stoking Danny's emotion. It feels incredible. I mean, it's, you know, right, right here, just about this right here. The family, former U.N. Ambassador Bill Richardson and his foundation team, retired to a news conference inside. Danny expressing his gratitude to the negotiations trading humanitarian vaccine and food assistance to Myanmar for him and a Burmese woman with ties to Richardson. And I'm incredibly grateful to... Uh, Seeing Bill and his team there, it's uh, out on the tarmac waiting for me. It's just uh, the greatest, greatest feeling I can ever remember having. Danny thanked his brother Brian, family, and the organizations who took up the Free Fenster movement. If I was outside of the prison in court, uh, maybe some police aide that could speak a little bit of English would flash a picture on his phone of. Uh, my entire family wearing t-shirts with my face on it on CNN, which was a pretty, pretty bizarre thing to see. As for his trip home, told to pack a few things, guards shackled him, put him in a car for a four hour drive to another airport. Several hours later, a police officer sat down and said, uh, you've been charged with these crimes and found guilty. Uh, we're gonna offer you this pardon and you're gonna leave right now. Now, Danny said that he is going to enjoy his freedom, his visit with his family a lot, but in a very short order because he said he still has other things he wants to do, and that is take up the fight for the other journalists and other people in Myanmar who are being held by the government there. He thinks that their freedom is every bit as important as his, and he wants to work toward that. Back to you. Hey, Rod, he was in a prison that is quite notorious. He talked a little bit uh, about that as well today. Right, he actually spoke expansively about it, uh, about the difficulties, the hardships, and the times that he actually felt uh, a little bit concerned and, and uh, hopeless. And so we're going to be hearing from all of those issues coming up on Local yeah. 4 News at 6 o'clock. Good deal. All right, Rod, we'll see you then.